priority is aircraft to the north as it is now at 25 miles closing Montreal. We are monitoring. HMCS Montreal is currently part of an integrated air missile defense task group that is operating together under NATO command and control and a very sophisticated uh, data link architecture in order to support ballistic missile defense objectives while at the same time ensuring that units involved with ballistic missile defense are defended from the traditional or conventional air breathing threats. So it's very important for the RCN to participate in uh, exercises such as Formidable Shield, in particular the live fire exercise with NATO partners, because we are a key NATO ally. We are always uh, participating in uh, coalitions and operations that NATO has, uh, has undertaken uh, for many, many years now. And Montreal, uh, as well as our other frigates, uh, has to be able to integrate in with uh, these task groups when they operate anywhere within the world where our government may send us. So Formidable Shield 17 saw the first ever launch on remote engagement. So that means the radar system on one nation's warship detected a, tr a track in space reported that position to a ship that's downrange, which uh, was able to successfully engage that target. So the radar system of one nation provided the queuing for the, the weapon system of another nation to enable the engagement. All positions are all up. Tensions in the area continue to rise. Formal Shield 17 also exercised for the first time ever the Integrated Air Missile Defense Task Group, which is the, the first time that we've had uh, units from uh, specific nations defending uh, other nations' units that are specifically rolled for ballistic missile defense. So in the case of the exercise that we ran here, we had a ballistic missile launch simultaneous with cruise missile launches against that task group. And so Montreal defended the task group against those uh, conventional cruise missile threats, while the other units were able to engage successfully the ballistic missile threat uh, that was present. In the kind of threat environment that we're exercising in Formidable Shield 17, no country can operate in a multi-threat environment like that alone. So you need navies with complementary skills, complementary sensors, and the ability to talk to one another. It's only in that way that we're going to be able to form that cohesive integrated air and missile defense task group that's necessary to operate in threat environments such as off North Korea. Uh, and to be able to protect uh, ballistic missile shooters so that they can execute their responsibilities and duties. The ship's company performed extremely well throughout the, uh, uh, the exercise. Uh, it's very interesting when you have a real threat coming inbound, even though if it was just a, uh, uh, being portrayed by a target, the heightened sense of realism that uh, that comes into the uh, operations room is absolutely fantastic. I was exceptionally pleased with the uh, the ship's company uh, throughout the the entire exercise. Uh, they performed extremely well. They threw some very challenging circumstances and conditions. Uh, they maintained the focus, and when it came time to put a couple ESM uh, down range, uh, they were extremely successful. And because of that, we got two kills on the target.